Can you believe it's already February? Like this is insane. Let's go over the things that you can do right now to make sure that you demolish this year. It's sunny. <laughs> I can I can smell the spring coming. It's not bad. We haven't seen this color in a long time. This is this is winter lawn. Check this out. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. The first thing you want to do is dethatch your lawn. Dethatch your lawn. What's it going to do? It's going to comb everything up that's been laying down and it's going to help you get that canopy right. The sun's radi radiating down on me. Dethatching is going to tell your grass it's almost time to shine, baby. It's almost time for growing season, and I'm here for it. It's gonna pull up all that thatch because you're gonna put down some nutrients, and you don't want that nutrients to be blocked by any thatch, dead material, none of that. So get on top of your dethatching. A lot of your shaded areas as well are gonna have a bunch of moss. This dethatching, this scarifying is gonna pull that moss up, also preventing blockage from all the nutrients you're gonna put down to demolish this season. I can't tell you how excited I am. It's in the air, it's in the air. After you are done dethatching, make sure you bag it up with your lawnmower and that brings us to the next step, mowing frequency. Now, a lot of you are still in winter mode and that's okay, but if your grass is showing, it's time to start mowing. <laughs> oh, hey. That rhymed. <laughs> Frequency of cut. How often should you be mowing right now? Well, at least once a week. At least to start. I pumped those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. I know, I know. To get those numbers up, we need to keep cutting. When you cut your lawn, you're, you're telling your grass to grow. Oh yeah, we're, 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 we're cutting some, we're cutting the whole property today. It's looking right. I, I'm just so excited because you can tell. Like it's getting, look at that, it's getting a little thicker. <laughs> it's getting a little thicker and I'm just like a little too excited. Okay, so mowing at least once a week. Once you start putting down the products, you'll start to see growth. Bump those numbers up two times a week, possibly Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Friday. You know what I mean? And get that right. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm sorry I keep saying that, but I'm just so excited. Excited. Let's get a little mow on, shall we? A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky Just mode, it might look a little rough and that's okay because we're about to do the next step, nutrients. Oh, yes, sir. Holy guacamole, so nice out today. Sheesh. Let's talk about nutrients right now. If you wanna wake this up, you're gonna need some ammonium sulfate. You're gonna need a well-rounded fertilizer and that'll jumpstart everything. It's saying, time to eat, okay? Breakfast in bed, wake up a little bit. <laughs> You're thinking to yourself, well, that's not fair because his grass is already nice. Well, no, last season it wasn't this nice this time because I've been working my butt off in the entire winter to make sure that it's easy for me in the spring and it's showing right now. 
it's showing. This is also one grass type, so that does help. You have a bunch of different grasses. Yeah, it's gonna look uneven. It's not gonna look this good, but for those of you who are on the same train as me and you're on one grass type, it's gonna look pretty, pretty decent. To get this even better, we need to lay down some products. You're also gonna wanna apply iron. So iron's gonna help keep that color dark green. It's gonna help green it up if it's not green yet. And it's also gonna take out some moss, that unwanted moss that's just lingering everywhere. Iron takes care of that. You can just go to the big box store, get some ironite, get some moss out. That's a good combination for this. And as for fertilizer, triple 16 Lily Miller, ammonium sulfate. It's all the big box. You can do that right now, apply it. It's kind of like, it's like a pre-season blitz. Pre-season blitz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Preseason blitz. Hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. Check out these stripes. Come on. Nutrients. Once that nutrients is in the canopy and looking good and filling in the bare spots, oh yeah, it's time to mow twice a week, maybe even three times a week. Right now I'm mowing about twice a week. I wanna get to three and eventually seven. <laughs> Another thing too, you're gonna wanna get some products down, all your granulars. You wanna get your disease prevention. You're gonna wanna get some grub X, some grub control, some insect killer. We're gonna have a lot of problems with insects, worms. I'm gonna show you guys a couple worm tricks that I'm gonna do later on, closer to towards March before we overseed. Speaking of overseeding, why are we doing all this right now? It's so early, yard bro. Why are you even out there? Well, look, I can cut because it's growing. I'm providing nutrients so it's gonna grow even more. And I'm prepping for the overseed project that we're gonna do closer to about April, mid-April. It's gonna look so good. I'm telling you, last season, I started February 17th and it looked nothing like this. It was brown, it was poopy, it was just not right. We're ahead of the game right now. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm gonna plant the same grass seed that I planted in the fall. It's gonna be one grass type, three cultivars. I might add a different cultivar in there just to switch it up, you know, but yeah, we're doing this for the overseed project. Now, let's talk about another thing. You're seeing a lot of different grasses in here. You're seeing some poa pop up. You're seeing some, I'm guessing, nut sedge since it's raining so much. Hold off on the herbicides until about mid-March. We're about a month and a half till spring, official spring hits. Wait until about a week before spring, official spring, and start putting on your herbicides, your tenacities your POA annual killer. I use Progress EC. You're gonna wanna put down some selective herbicide like uh, T-Zone. Put down some T-Zone. Put down some zones. <laughs> put down some zones to get rid of all this stuff. And you're on your way, my guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just like, we needed the sun. I needed this sun. I needed some vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> Not the vitamin D. For pH levels, try to put down some lime. I put lime down every single year, just a bag. You know, a lot of people are like, you have to dump a ton of lime to, to change the pH. Well, first of all, pH takes forever to, to change. I mean, you're talking years. So just adding a bag of lime every single season, beginning of the season, it's gonna be good. Do it. All the granulars, put down now. See here, I'm getting a bunch of POA. You can see the POA is, is active. POA as well as moss. It's coming back. We'll, we'll wait to, to do that in mid-March. Like I said, I'm, I'm proud of this one. This right here has been mowed frequently, been taken care of, fertilized all winter. This has not. I purposely planted Kentucky 31 here so I can do controls on this, you know, test some things out. And obviously it works. I mean, look at this. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. Everyone else looks like this, right? And we're looking a green. <laughs> oh, I feel so good right now. This cloud is dampening my day. <laughs> I'm gonna go mow the backpack. The backpack is looking a little too good good. I'm telling you. See, that's typical right here. Right there is usually what lawns look like. They don't look like this. Lawns usually look like that after winter. I'm telling you, I've been putting in work all winter long. It's like end of winter right now. We have a month and a half. It's so close, guys. It's so close. I'm actually gonna go ahead and mow the, the back first and then we'll get to the back back. Let me get some water. Gotta be properly hydrated. I'm gonna doing all this lawn care. <laughs> As for me, I'm getting a little bit better. Can't wait to start lifting heavier. Let me show you the back before we get started on mowing it. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you too. The front is ironed every two weeks. This is ironed maybe once a month. 
And I'm telling you right now, this is this is what happens. Moss is flourishing like crazy. You can see the winter, it's done its toll. Got a bunch of worm castings. Got a bunch of nut sedge. And that's okay. The greens is looking a little rough, but that, that that's okay too. We're doing all these things to make sure that in about a month and a half, everyone's gonna be like, damn, why does the lawn already look like that? I know, don't worry, it's gonna get even better. <laughs> you know me, it gets better than this. Okay, let's mow this back area. Oh, I love it, we need to get some, we need to get some iron back here for sure. Look at this moss, just chilling. Can't have that. It's raining. Too soon, Julia. I know. I know. It is too soon. <laughs> Mother of God. I got some more doo doo. Mother truckers. Minus the dog shit, which is frustrating as all hell. It's like, do you not see that I'm working hella hard back here? It's not the dog. The dog's gonna go wherever. It's the fucking owner. <laughs> I swear there's always a little bit of drama in the club. Always a little bit of drama in the club. Having a good day, and then literally a dog takes shit on it. <laughs> I hose down this area from the poop, and a freaking tulip has found its way under. So we're just gonna leave them there. For now, I'm sure the herbicide will just take care of it. Oh yeah, see, there's a lady over here. You think she's picking up her dog? She just let the dog get there. Really? Just let your dog. Shit. You don't have any freaking bags on you. I bet you that's who it is. I will call him out. I'm gonna say a bad word. <laughs> that's a lot of growth there, my dudes. It's a lot of grass. We're not gonna let it ruin our day. Little poop never hurt nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, it got dark fast. At least I mowed everything. That was fun. Here, let's check this out. This is the person, watch this. Goes across the street. Like you know you're not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, dude. Anyways, this, my friends, is called dormant seeding. It's seeding in the winter, and then once it comes time to germinate, it should spring up. So I'm gonna put some more Kentucky 31 down in the poop spot. I shoved it up because I was just mad. <laughs> don't get, don't let the emotions get the best of you, okay? Don't do that, don't do what I just did. I can do it, they know it's gonna grow back. So dormant seeding, here we go. I'm gonna grab a little bit of peat moss just to cover it up a bit. It's coming down now. 
<laughs> At least we got out here. We need some peat moss just to put it down on the dormant overseeding. Dormant overseeding. There's the sun. Come on, stop raining, please. We still got stuff to do. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dormant overseeding. Just a dabble do ya. All right, well, I was gonna cut the greens. It's not gonna happen. We'll save that for the next sunny day. But it's raining and that's messy. So we'll save that for later. Okay, my dudes, let's recap. You see what I'm dealing with here in Washington? It's ridiculous. <laughs> There's so much rain every day. Let's recap real quick. You're gonna verticut, you're gonna mow frequently, you're gonna start your mowing schedule, you're gonna add some supplies, you're gonna put some products down, and then in about a month and a half, we're gonna put down some herbicides. And I'll go ahead and uh, do that with you guys so we're on the same page. Very simple, very easy procedure that we're doing here. Keep ahead of the game. You guys are the best. You're amazing. Thanks for watching. End of winter, preseason, it's going down. You guys are awesome. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy. Shush. Yeah.